how you mentioned uh, Jalen Brown talking about him having an increased role. I mean, what does that mean? You know, there's only one other increasement you can think of, and that's honestly what we're talking about after the uh, after the Celtics were eliminated. So either Danny watches our game, you know, our, our post game show, or it's something that's been discussed. Everybody watches post game. You know? <laughs> no, but that's true. We agree there. I think that that's almost like that could have been a nudge to Brad, like. So right. we have that in there. guys that right. who we want to be the centerpieces of the in franchise. In order to do that, everybody's got to understand that Jalen and Jason are the guys, you know? And then we it's the hierarchy we talked about at the end of uh, game six. Exactly. And really throughout a lot of the series, a lot of the postseason is establishing a hierarchy where Marcus Smart doesn't take 22 shots and Jalen Brown has the ball in his hands a little bit more. And we're not wondering, you know, you know, why he just took 11 shots, you know, like it, we can't, you can't have that anymore. And maybe that's one of, you know, maybe that's what he's alluding to there because Jalen's going to get better because he's going to get better. He's still young and you assume Tatum is as well. So really it comes down to the opportunity. That was that. The other, thing, the other thing I wanted to ask is, uh, and actually someone wrote this on Celtics blog, Bobby. Uh, so I'll throw it out to you first. Now the, the consensus opinion seems to be, Let's get older, which is to say a lot of young talent. You need a few vets. Everyone was like a James Posey, PJ Brown type would be great in this situation. Okay. <laughs> but not those guys. Right. But everyone right. loves that shit. You're right. right Posey right. and Brown. Those are Brad Watermaker's not old enough for you. Watermaker's going to go probably. But anyway, yeah, how old is Watermaker? Is he 40? He's 40? 30. <laughs> Up, He's got those European travel up. years on him. <laughs> you want another project, John? <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm asking you guys. All Did right. So, yeah. Know, which that's the right play. I, I think Jeff Clark went in the direction of let's get older and Bill Sy back the youth movement. I think if we're just talking reality right now is this is the shift Kendrick Perkins has talked about on our network uh, specifically is that the league values younger players now because they're cheaper. And that's why the Celtics went in the direction they did because Grant, uh, Romeo, those type of guys can be cheaper deals on a team that's about to get killed in luxury tax. And I know they're happy going into the tax. They're about to do that, obviously, with Tatum's extension coming. But you got to have cheaper guys to balance that out to some degree. And they have no choice now either. Like The only guys that they could sign specifically uh, would either be a five- or you know three-and-a-half million-dollar mid-level extension guy or consolidating like three, four players and the one more expensive player. And then you don't have bodies. So you're right. I mean, the youth seems a little bit unrealistic to go, you know, to, 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 to go there you definitely need some grown-up 